Following WWDC, AirPods got a new beta firmware, only the second one. But while the iOS 16 and macOS betas offer enough extra features that more people than just developers may find the early update worthwhile, it's hard to recommend going through the process to update your AirPods unless you have a real reason. But if for some reason you do want to give this update a try, here's how. The install process for the AirPods beta is more involved than other Apple beta software, and it's also irreversible. There's no way to downgrade to a non-beta version. You just have to wait until the updated non-beta version is officially released. To get started, you'll need your AirPods paired to an iPhone running the iOS 16 beta and a Mac running the macOS Ventura beta and Xcode 14 beta. Connect your iPhone to your MacBook and open Xcode 14. Then, within your iPhone settings, go to the Developer section. At the bottom of the Developer section, under AirPods Testing, click on Pre-release Beta Firmware. Within there, you can enable it for the specific AirPods you want to receive the beta firmware after you agree to the terms. With the beta updates enabled, the next time the AirPods are connected to that iPhone with the case closed, they should update to the firmware automatically. So what does this beta firmware bring you feature-wise? Well, not much. Last year, the beta brought things like spatial audio for FaceTime and ambient noise reduction. But this time around, Apple only lists improvements to automatic switching and various bug and stability fixes. It's probably not enough to tempt most people to go through with the update. But if you decide to, let me know how it goes for you. And while I'm on the subject of AirPods updates, I think Apple should have a more manual way to update them. While the seamless process of just using your AirPods as usual and letting the updates happen automatically may work for most, I would love to see some more manual control over starting firmware updates or holding AirPods on a specific firmware. We shared a concept of an AirPods app last year. And while I don't think a full app is necessary, I think adding some level of manual control over the updates would be great. What do you think? Do you even care about the new AirPods beta? Let me know in the comments down below and subscribe for more from 9to5Mac.